The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unu Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. I'm a big fish in a small pond, got my days free and the nights long. I create my own reality, who I am is fine with me. Coming in! You know what that means! It's my favorite sound of the whole week! Hi everybody, it's Maria from What's a Story with Maria. How's it going? We are so excited that you're here. Tonight is extremely special because as you see, we have been fruitful and multiplied musically here. We have Christina uh, Adikio has joined us. Oh. Kristen Piero has joined us. You know Christina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Kristen Piero has joined us. Ooh. Steve Alardi, little Stevie V. From Maurice Crisis, Rena oh. Crignali Berge, my cousin from Massachusetts, from Woburn. <laughs> Sean's from Massachusetts. Get ready. David Slauson has joined us. Adam Feldman, Annette Zito from the Bronx, Gail Sibel Molino, Thomas Crosby from Long Island. Hi, Thomas. He's a great singer. Oh my God, what a beautiful voice. Ed Kutu, my friend from high school from Stoneham High. He's got Blade Salon, and I think it's in. Uh, what's the new place that you guys just moved to? Hey. I remember from last week. Hi, Suzanne honey. Mason, who's that? <laughs> oh, is that your girl? That's my girl, Takako oh, my... Suzuki Harkness. Wow. Um, how... <laughs> oh, my God. Everybody's coming in. Uh, Isabella Raskowski, that's my cousin Marisa. And Leo Rodriguez, <laughs> our... <laughs> our accidental intern, I it's call It's going to be like that, huh? Yes, it is going to be like that. <laughs> right. Well, because he, what he does is he'll start posting stuff. Like, if you mention a website, he's right on it. He's really? like the A-plus student in the class. <laughs> John Pandish has joined us. Uh, Ed Kutu, okay, Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Ed Kutu, thank you, Ed. He has a blade salon <clears throat> uh, in Connecticut. If you're in Connecticut and you need to get your hair did, Eddie's your guy. John De Palma has joined us. Hi, hey. Oh my God! Jerry Molino has oh, joined Jerry, us. Jerry, Jerry. Oh my God! Beautiful. Everybody's yelling Leo now. All right. Hi, Isabel. I mean, well, uh, Marisa. Listen, we're going to start right out of the gate. These guys are going to start with a song because they are doing a show coming up. Plus, they they travel as a caravan, and that and that includes Kitty back there. So let me introduce you to Sean Harkness. Marcus Simeon, Katie Strabella, Lena Katrakis, and they're just going to open with a song. Go for it. Mm -hmm. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song And I'll try not to sing out of key I get by with a little help from my friends I get high with a little help from my friends I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends
love at first sight. Yes, I'm certain that it happens all the time. What do you see when you turn out the light? I can't tell you, but I know it's mine. I get my little from my friends. I get I back there in the in the bleacher seats back there but uh kitty strabella is a producer she is the head of the creator and the head of miranda music and miranda music is responsible for um recording wonderful people recording wonderful people so kitty falls under we've had kitty on the show before and i love that particular show it was so good uh, kitty falls under the angel category so Indeed. you hear these uh amazing musicians singers and they have their friends and but you know we all work really hard to, to do our art and we're we have day jobs we have night jobs we have all kinds of jobs so that we can sing and play and do what we do and people like kitty so I want a big round of applause for Kitty Strabella, who is the behind-the-scenes producer and heartbeat of this group. Absolutely. Are you right? right. Absolutely. Yes. Where would yes. you be without Kitty? Yes. I mean, I feel like and so many people that, that Kitty's produced that I absolutely love. And uh, we were talking about this. A lot of Marcus. Oh, a lot of Marcus. Oh, a lot. Well, there is a lot of Marcus to produce and love. That's the thing. And uh, Sean Harkness, Lena Katrakis. So we, I've tagged everybody if you want to go and follow them uh, after the show. Now, Leo is there, and we are going to post. <laughs> Leo is so amazing with posting websites. So, Sean, let's tell everybody what your websites are. If they want to find you. SeanHarkness.com. Okay, so Sean, a, uh, S-E-A-N-H-A-R-K-N-E-S-S.com. That's how you're going to find. And I found out last time that Sean is also a Wyndham Hill artist. Is that correct? Well, I was when there was a Wyndham Hill to be on. Well, yeah. there will always be a Wyndham Hill to me. Uh. You know that. It's one of my favorite, favorite things. Yeah. Yeah. So Sean Harkness, you can find Sean Harkness on uh, Wyndham Hill as well. And um, we have Marcus Simeone. Marcus, how do they find you? MarcusSimeone.com. Okay. M-A-R-C-U-S-S-I. M E O N E dot com, right? You got it. Okay, Kitty, how do they find you? Miranda Music dot com. Okay, M I R A N D A Music M U S I C dot com. Now, this next one. No, it's easy. <laughs> oh, no, it is? It's easy. We took the Katrakis out. Oh, my yeah. website is Lena Sings. Dot com, but oh Lena's L I N A. L I N A sings S I N G S dot com. com. So those are the websites that after the show, or I mean even during the show if you like, you can check out these are amazing artists that stand that stand alone with their music and together tonight we have um, under the umbrella of Miranda music and the the wonderful heartbeat of Kitty. We have this, uh, you have a show coming up? We do. And you've been working a lot together this year, right? We have, yeah. Like, I follow yeah. you guys, you're doing <sighs> so much. The first thing I have to, because it's the elephant in the living room, it's everybody's like, what? 
You guys opened for Air Supply. This Air, supplies, Air Supply, true. Yes, right? did. So who wants to tell us a little bit about what that felt like? Marcus, Marcus has. <laughs> But well, that's, it was in your hometown <laughs> yeah. theater in uh, Staten Island. And just project a little bit um, so we get you. I don't know what else to say other than it was great. It was a great experience. And where um, was it, Marcus? The St. George Theater. In the St. George Island, Theater, okay. Which uh, is a newly restored, I think, oh God, how old is that theater, Kitty? 100 and, know, 120 years old. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Something like that. Theater. But it's a beautiful theater. I, I think that it was uh, great to see the transformation of my my partners, my musical partners, uh, because we kind of like were, yeah, Air Supply. I, I'm kind of farty, so I love Air Supply. I'm kind of like, <laughs> but like kind of. I like the Aerosmith. Rest, the rest of the group, right. Was he kept saying like, Aerosmith all night tonight. But right. I have to tell you, Maria, they were so amazing. <clears throat> when I turned they to were really good. Marina and Sean, yeah. they were, you know, they were like, wow. They're yeah. so good. They were fantastic. And I saw a picture of you guys from the wings oh, right, someone right. took. And I, I I was like... That was the big stage, yeah. What's up, Jimmy? We good? Okay, so maybe we got to bring our volume up a little bit. Was... Little volume? Little volume. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, because we have so many people in the studio tonight that we're trying to get everybody. Does now it's help? turning red. Now maybe just put somewhere in the middle, otherwise it's static stuff. Yeah, right. Okay, so you know what? When people knock, I'll hold it here. So um, I it? saw, that's all right. I saw a picture of uh, for, someone took from the wings and I thought, wow, that's like, it's a big theater, isn't it? Yeah, you didn't realize uh, how big it was. 2,000 seats. Okay, see, I thought it was seats. like in the hundreds or something. No, 2,000 no. seats. Is that the biggest group you ever played for? No. No? No. 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 Really? Individually, no. Together, well, this yes. Group, it's yeah, our yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Air Supply was our, our first. first. I like that you said yes. that. Yes. Yeah, our first. That's their to come. Right, so right. Individually, movement. we've each and how would handled you, the crowd. <laughs> how would you say you were received? I think really We got their attention. Really well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it's hard to open up for a group that everybody's there to see. It's true. It's true. Uh, in fact, but people were, when I first started playing, people were still talking and milling about and getting their seats. By the time we were done, we had them, which, wow. is, which is very satisfying. How many songs did you do? What did we do, five? Four or five? Five. Tw five 20 think, yeah. union minutes. I mean, to the second. 20 union to minutes. The That's what, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but hey. Wow. You know, they, they gave us an opportunity to, to share an audience with, you know, Air Supply and to play yeah it was we were happy for it we'll and, do it again happy. and the air supply was great and the guys were great who we fondly now refer to as mr air and mr supply oh, yes. oh no <laughs> yes we do yeah. they were do they know you no, i don't think so no. probably okay. not. but when they were standing backstage while we were sound checking sean was sound checking first and i just told him this the other day nobody knew who marcus and i were at that point standing backstage and uh, the two lead guys from uh, Air Supply were watching the sound check, and Sean was playing. And I watched both of them watch him, and one turned to the other and say, Wow, he's good. Isn't that and I was like, Yes, he is. Wow. I, I took complete ownership of Sean at that moment. As, as, <laughs> I think everybody tries to take, he's so cute. Don't, we need like a little pocket sized Sean. Oh, Something no, a little, maybe a Sean bobblehead. Sean. You know, they you make them. <laughs> Sean, what do you think? Sean's from yes. Boston, so, I mean, Massachusetts, I can't help. God damn it, Sean. We need a goddamn bobblehead of you <laughs> next to the Noma Garcia Para from the 2004 World Series team. What do you think? I'm going to have, I'm telling you, they make them now. You can have a bobblehead made of yourself. You can? Really? Yeah. That's a good Christmas present for Sean. Totally. We should all Miranda, do that. That would, that would be good uh, merch, it, merch. No, it is good merchandising. Yeah. I, I saw it on some, you can look it up. It's not even that you're expensive. You're a bobblehead and you're in my home. I'm going to get scared out of my wits every night. I'm <laughs> telling you. It's going to be what, Sean Marcus. Marcus's eyes are going to be following <laughs> right, you. Right, exactly. They're going to be following <laughs> you. Oh, my God. All right, so, so now real. you have a show coming up. Um, and tell everybody about the show coming up. Your turn. We are this Saturday at uh, Don't Tell Mamas in New York City on 46th Street on the west side at 7 o'clock. And uh, it's the three of us. The show is called Clearly Now. Okay. And uh, we decided at the beginning that we would do each do three solos. We would do uh, three ensemble pieces. Marcus and I would do three duets, and then hopefully we would get three encores. 
so far. <laughs> it's working out pretty pretty wow. well. Yeah, we're still working on the three encores. But uh, it's a great show. And Did you all pick the music together? Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, very collaborative. Very. Yeah. What, how do you do? Did you go to a diner and you just like scratch some things down? Or Lena's house, mostly. Lena's house, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yep. And we came with a whole bunch of song ideas, and we left with completely different tunes because we got so excited. We just, you, oh, let's do this. Let's are do are there songs that um, that you guys have done individually, or you okay with that? Hold yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the past, yeah. We, this is the first time we've had this many people on, so we're. Just, you know what? I should have done next time. I will. I have a little table. You want this little stool down. in the middle here? I don't know. Maybe we could. Now. Let's see. Hold on. I'm yeah. gonna move. Over. I mean, the I'm microphone. on the radio now, but. Yeah. Um, Should we move this? Hold on, yeah. Middle? So I just want to make sure that everyone's heard, and we ha we have a like we're three deep right now, everybody. We're moving yeah. furniture, kids. We'll move furniture. We'll put it right here. Sounds good. So we can get everybody. There we go. Know. How's that? Beautiful. I think we just solved a problem. We're living in the solution, young people. <laughs> this is how you do it. There's people out there. They're lost, but you see, <laughs> I'm telling you. But we are not lost. We worked in. Now, okay. how we? It's do. true. Now I can calm down. All right. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Now we can just relax. Okay, so uh, you pick the songs together, and how long have you guys? I know that you've all known each other a long time because I've known Lena. How long? Twenty five years. Twenty something. Yeah. Twenty something years. Wow. I just met Kitty this year with Marcus. Thank you for introducing me. But I'd heard of you, Kitty, for a long, long time. And Miranda Music. I've I have Miranda Music CDs. Um, and and uh, Marcus and I have known each other a long time as well. Mm -hmm. Sean, I just met you this year. But uh, you are you come um, with a, a reputation for right. getting getting around. <laughs> Sean gets around. Sean I've always plays around. That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, everybody <laughs> and their and their grandmother that is uh, has talent. Is always trying to get a hold of Sean, so you do play out quite a bit, right? I do. It's, it's what I do for a living. I love to do it, and uh, fortunately, it's kind of caught on. So yeah, my phone's ringing. But that's great. You ever t get, get jobs that you can't take? Oh sure. Yeah. yeah, that's tough, right? It is. I hate saying no. Yeah, um, but are you at a point where you don't want to travel anymore? I know a lot of people. Oh, I travel a lot. You do still, sure. but I don't. I don't go out for long periods of time. Um, I think. You know, when the when the the record company gravy train fell apart, that those you know the days of long tours is limited to you know only a handful of acts out there. Oh, but, really? Um, I get a lot of weekend flyouts, a lot of you know. And studio stuff. You still do studio stuff? Oh, sure. You write songs too? I do. Yeah. Wow. I, I compose um, original. Uh, uh, <laughs> I compose original music, Duh. of course. <laughs> uh, instrumental music. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't trust myself. Now, if we want to find that, is that on your website as well? Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get back to every sing, everybody. I'm trying to, what I want to do is acknowledge. Uh, now, for our radio listeners, if you're listening in and you hear that we're naming names here, we're uh, name dropping our friends. What it is, is we're also Facebook living <coughs> as we do this, the radio show. And so, um, oh, this is something else I think I want to make sure. So it's, oh, okay. What's the name of the radio station? The radio station is Armed Radio. Armed Radio. Armed Radio. It started for the Armed Force. Now, Lena, I know your dad was in the Navy, right? Career Navy man, yeah. Career yep. Navy. And uh, South Carolina? Everywhere. Every two years, we were stationed someplace else, and off the whole family went. So I am a complete Navy brat and a complete military rah-rah gal. And I forgot me. about that. And someone was <laughs> yeah. on last week. Oh, uh, Richard Skipper. Was on last week. He's was, from South Carolina. Yes, yes, and he mentioned both of you. He right. also brought me a mug with your picture. Right, on it. I know, and yes. I want you to use that, Maria. I, I, almost, <laughs> I want you to use. Listen, that. I've been using I'm it you this get week. The uh, well, <laughs> then, then they're going to be up there with my my Red Sox and Patriots bobbleheads. But I want to acknowledge some of our guests. So this is what I'm doing. I mean, no, I have a lot of bobbleheads. So this is what I'm doing. I am. I'm going to go back here because a lot of our guests now. Have come on and they want to say hello. Uh, Francesca Randazzo. Is, oh, is that your friend? That's Francis. Paul Unson has joined us. Michael Isaacs. Uh, Hi, I, Michael. We love you, Michael Isaacs. <laughs> oh, my God. I've got to get Michael on the show. He just works Tuesdays. So, uh, Lauren Order, Lauren Order, my favorite of all drag queens. Lauren Order. Do you know who Lauren Order is? No, I love okay, that. Okay, so there's a lot of drag queens in this town. Let's name. just say it. You know, it's New York City and there's a lot of pretty girls. And but Lauren actually sings live and has the most amazing pipes and range. Lauren, you know I'm a huge fan. Huge. You have to listen. It's like amazing, like operatically trained. 
Colin Maxwell, uh, Len Shinbar. Uh, who else do we have? So many nice people. Is that Jen Cruz camp back there? Yes. No way. Yes. No. Yes, I believe it is. After this moves over, I think it's Jen Cruz camp. I think she's in California now. So we have a lot of people listening. So if you're on the radio, uh, what we're doing is Facebook Living, and that's why people are coming on, and a lot of hots are coming up. Sean, because it's that pretty stuff. So, so people are watching us, and they're they're loving what they hearts. see, and they in non they Massachusetts hit. English, that's hearts. hearts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, so. Um, now, Lena. Jennifer, hi. Yes, Jennifer. <laughs> Jen hi, Cruz. Jen. She's in California right now. I'm so happy to see you, Jenny. Um, so, Lena. Now, are you still directing? I am. Did you direct this show, uh, or did you remove? Yeah. I I guess the answer is yes, but uh, they buck my authority a lot. Is so, it you know, these boys? Like clients, not yeah. not my angels. <laughs> Kitty, did you know about this? That they buck her authority? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kitty was nodding. Oh, but I could guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, you keep Who's the, the bigger oh. troublemaker, Sean or Marcus? Oh, that would be Marcus. Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is that true? Without a doubt, yes. Well, I don't believe yes, that. Because I'm a lot like, you know, she said Mr. Simeone. I'm sort of like Miss Ross. Oh, okay, that's true. That these are my, you know. No. Yeah, Miss Jackson if you're nasty. Right. Right. All right, so you kind of sort of directed this with a little bucking from Marcus right. and a few smirks from Sean right, exactly. and chuckles in the corner right. and Kitty praying that right. all goes that well went, right. and that knowing that it will. So. Actually, actually, Maria, what? The, the truth is a rehearsal will, will go more like this. It's really not us bucking Lena. <laughs> what usually happens is it's Lena, Sean, and I, and Sean's getting ready to play a tune. Yeah. And we're like this. <laughs> no. Oh. The music started already. Come on now. <laughs> or I like that he shot. goes into a solo and we're going. He's like, man, it's my I, solo. I get no respect. I, he does. So you <laughs> mean they when they when they're done singing? Right. We're, we're they don't they just they, start talking. Exactly. They start talking over. Then yeah. it's, the spotlight should be on that's you. That's what I really look forward to about doing a concert because that's the only time they don't do that. Right. They During have the to show. sit there and actually listen to me. <laughs> and you it's don't. Wonderful. But you know wow. what happens? We actually really <laughs> dig him. <laughs> So are you talking about how much you, you enjoy, you're enjoying the music? Maybe that's what they're doing. They're saying, wow, he's really good. No, and I tell you that I'm being led astray by Marcus. Mar uh, oh, so he's the no. troublemaker. You know what I think that... Do you know what I think that comes from Piano Bar? And I'll tell you why. Because I think in Piano Bar, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you as a singer, you're singing, and then the piano player <coughs> or whatever musician takes their solo... And usually you go, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Darius Ron or Michael Isaacs or whatever. And sometimes we make jokes, and I now I'm going to be more conscious of it. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, that's his solo or her yeah. solo. Well, what like do you think? said, we would never do that in performance. Yes, but, but it but always winds up. It's not like, wow, how great is he? It's more like what do you guys he goes pick to her about? solo and she goes. <laughs> 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 and I go, no, it was really great. No, it was great. And then he goes. Dum, dum. <laughs> so you're checking each other. Well, yeah, we're yeah. Kind of, you know, you so know right. singers are. You know? Yeah, oh God, yes. Greg used to say singers. Listen, oh, by the God. way, can we just can we take a moment to say happy That's birthday serious. to Greg? Oh, yes. Sure. It is Greg's birthday. Greg's in heaven and we love Greg. And it's Greg's birthday. Yeah. So we have to shout out to Greg because we all love him. And then you mentioned him, I saw it today. So I feel like he's listening. Oh, of for sure. I'm sure he is. Of course he is. <laughs> and probably thinking, Marcus, you're talking too much, right? Let Sean do his let Sean do his, his thing. See? Yeah. Oh, then nobody's listening. Oh my god. I did it too. <laughs> We're not supposed to be talking. Sean's playing. Oh my god. Sean is so talented. <laughs> he's really good. And he's super handsome. Doesn't he look great? Right he was gay, but he's not. Everybody he's not. thinks oh, that. Sean. Yeah. Sean Harkness, everybody. That's for you, Grant. With no sinners interfering. Oh my God. All right. So now, what's your, do you, are you guys uh, the, uh, the type of people that are always looking to the future? Can I answer individually, or are you just like I'm here now? I here just now. Want, yeah. Want to do what I do? I kind of am like it, that too. Digging it. Yeah, yeah, just be in the moment, right? I'm answering for all three of us, but yeah, no, well, I'm I, it feels like that to me. <laughs> what do you time, think, Lena? Right? I think when I was younger, I used to... I, I learned how to be in the moment as I went along. But you know what happens? You start to make music for me. I was always going to the next step in life. 
okay, now what can I do? Now what, mm. now what needs to be done? Now what's my next mm. step? But the minute the music starts, I'm in, the, I'm in it. Yeah. I'm in the moment. That's the best part about being a musician. Absolutely. And I feel grateful every day that I get to sing. No matter how tired I am, no matter what's going on, I'm like, oh, I'm actually singing. And, and people are still listening. Yeah. That's a big yeah. deal. It really or is. playing an instrument, whatever it is. Yeah. You know where that happened? You and me were in Tony and Tina's wedding together. Yep, that's where we met. And everybody thought we were sisters. Always. We look alike, right? Yeah. That's a compliment. It, so I it take is, it as a do, great compliment. Do you know, are you related to Maria down at the Duke? Almost. Everybody goes, like, do you know Lena yes, Katrakis? I say yes now. Yeah, you do? Yeah, Even when they're not together, people yeah. ask it. All, all the time. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, you people guys are related. Just... And it's like, well, you know, we played family for two years. Or when they thought you would confuse you for each other. Hi, Lena. I've got Maria a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. In piano bar, I get it a lot. Yeah. Like if, or if I'm at Brandy's or something. Right. Because you started at Brandy's, right? right? Yeah. And um, so I think that that's, I mean, I feel so grateful still. Like last night somebody said to me, because I, I said, God, I'm so tired these days. Like I, I just work so many hours at so many different jobs. And some days I just need a day off. Somebody said, well, if you could just do something, what would you pick? I, I said, singing. Hmm. That's like, yeah. I would never stop singing. Like I don't want to retire from that. I want to retire from the grind, you know, of uh, like worrying about the day to day, the finances. Yeah. Like today, I paid seven bills. I was like, that's just trying to get them out. But it, music, I could do that every day. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Um, Which is the nice part of working with these two. It's not just me. Yeah. It isn't even just it, it, me and a piano player. There's something about the three of us, and I love them. Yeah, I love great them. It's guys. like going to my brother and my cousin's house or something, and then we right. we're all it's th true. Musical, so Who's the uh, is there one of you, or do you switch this role that is the starter of something that says, "Hey, I have an idea," or do you all kind of all of us? Yeah, we all pitch. Yeah, that. we all send each other ideas, or it would you, you, it started by you playing uh, the beginning of "I Can See Clearly Now." Actually, right. that's how that's the three right. of us started. And Marcus, often late at night, sends us YouTube clips of songs. <laughs> well, Marcus that he is very big <laughs> about posting. Do you know what I, Marcus? Yeah, you don't even know this. I'm I've gotten lost. Them, yeah. yeah, I've got. I know. I've gotten lost in Marcus's <laughs> videos that he'll post. I'll just see something. And I, I've taken that, gone down that rabbit hole. Right, the Marcus yeah. music rabbit And I'll hole. say, oh, he wants to see that concert. That's really great. And then the next thing you know, I've watched like seven Marcus videos. <laughs> but thank you. You know, you get lost in that. I, I could spend all day doing that too. Now, Kitty, you just finished an album with Lena? You guys uh, did this year, right? Oh, together. Yeah. We recorded she the show. Right? Last year, yeah, all the but, songs from the show. Yeah, we right. just were in the yeah, studio. We're okay, so now. it's you're mixing the show that that you're actually performing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So people be able to purchase that. Yes, and we also did one with the three of them earlier as well. Uh, blue. Two and a half. <laughs> I was, I was By the way, I love that. I love that album. I love all your albums. That but that blue. Oh my God. Mm. It's yeah. phenomenal. It's got a lot of heart. A lot. Um, so, you, folks, I, I can't. Yeah, I know. I was going to do the same thing, Sean. Now, so let's acknowledge. Joan Dix has just said it's a great show. Um, okay, so Leo's posted all the websites. So thank you, Leo. Leo. <laughs> can't help it. I do that by myself in the car sometimes. I do, Leo. John Bronson. It's true. I'll just be driving, and I'm like, Leo Roaring. I love to roll my R's. Not everybody can roll an R, you know. Julie Cesari. Julie Cesari, do you remember? Julie was our director. Julie, she cast us. She cast us in Tony and Tina's wedding. Did you get your equity card from that show? Yeah, oh, yeah. So did I. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. So Julie's in L.A. right now. Hi to Steve. Uh, Steve is her wonderful boyfriend. Hi, Steve. He's cute as a button. They're on Malibu now, I think. Um, so a lot of people in New York came to see them and, uh, Julie told me to walk with my breasts up high. What? Yes. With Julie. In character. She didn't just say that to me on the she screen. Said, lead no. with, <laughs> she said, lead with your breasts. I can't That's that right. direction she to anybody. Jason <laughs> Peck has joined us. You guys know Jason. Not appropriate. Do you know Jason Peck? Yes. Oh, Jason is the Jason. best. Kate Greer, my friend, she's in, uh, Hell's Kitchen. She's a great actress and singer. Bill Young, uh... Chris DePiro says, hi, Lena. Hi, Chris. Jay Rivera has joined us. Of course, Billy Goffey. Billy Goffey is in our studio audience tonight. He yes. saw that they were coming over, and he also saw that I was making pot roast. <laughs> <laughs> and so and Billy Goffey came to join us. Now, let me see who else. Janet Better, she's in Connecticut. Brad Lacey, Dr. Brad Lacey, he's a dentist, has joined us. Holy moly, all these people. 
Jennifer Gilbert, a lot of people have joined us. Amazing. So Mandar Chick Magnet has joined us. Oh my God, Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer Cruzcamp, Jackie Gilbert. Fornatel has joined us. Jackie, a lot of nice Jackie. people, a lot of great singers out there. Melissa Driscoll, it's just going on and on. Okay, now let me look at because I know it's early, but I think I am going to segue into the food early because I want to keep talking about music and I want you guys to do another song. So. We usually do this at about 9.40, but I'm going to do it early. This is the section of our show called, you know what it's called, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, keep eating. We have to do oh, it together. The section of our show called, Go ahead, keep eating. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Kitty? Love it. All right. Go ahead. So, That's one word. I knew I had Go a, ahead. Go ahead, yeah. I knew I had a big crowd tonight, and so I wanted to feed the masses, but I also always have to ask my guest, you know, food, I always write food restrictions, allergies, um, you know, preferences. I put a little posture. Marcus was leading the group. You were the group leader. You were taking care of all of it, and he said, I'll send it out. And he came back, the first thing came back as Sean said, carnivore. And no, no pickles. pickles. Oh, and right. No pickles. Damn it, I almost got pickles. No, I'm just teasing. No, no pickles. No pickles, but I... And, so and I you can't s- do that thing the waitress is doing. They put the pickle on the plate because they forget, and then they take it off, and it leaves that green goo on so the So you table. don't? No. Oh, I, no, no, no. There's no, a story a there, I'm oh, sure. Man. I'm not a pickle person. Not a pi- I love pickles, actually. Love. Terrible love love. thing to do to a perfectly good cucumber. Is it? Well, yeah, I always say once a pickle, I'm, I'm like never a cucumber. cucumber. You can't go back. You can't. You can't reverse that process. Right. So you understand. Thank you. Yeah, if I was a cucumber and I became a pickle, I'd... What the hell happened? You know? <laughs> what happened there? I used to be a cucumber. Now I'm a pickle. And Sean doesn't like me anymore. All right, so now, what did I make? So I said, car- so I thought meat, carnivore. So I thought big, gigantic roast. I'm going to make a pot roast. Because I, I worked last night, and then I, uh, really late, and I thought, I can't get up, I can't start flipping steaks and all that. I'm going to just use my crock pot, which I love. And it's February still. It's February 19th. It's freezing. It was 28 degrees today. It's going to go down. I'm like, we still need comfort food. And so there are no calories in February. I don't know if you guys knew that. No calories. I didn't know that. Because of the cold. There's no calories on road trips either. Yeah, or Christmas (laughs) Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Okay, good. Go ahead. So (laughs) because there are no calories, I made a gigantic pot roast. This is just a display plate now. Just a display plate. I have a giant crock pot of it. But, um, okay, so this it smells delicious. This is our, um, I got a nice gigantic chuck roast, Sean. <laughs> Big chuck roast. That's a good name for drag king, I just thought. Chuck, chuck roast. Chuck <laughs> roast. <laughs> wow. Lauren, write that down. All right, so this is a, a chuck roast that I put in a crock pot with carrots, onions, red potatoes. And then and let it go for literally ten hours. I also add a cumin. Yum. Yeah, you like cumin? Yum. I love cumin. Cumin's one of my favorite spices. I added cumin. I have allspice in there. Oh, oh that's very that? cool. Allspice is almost has like a it kind cinnamon of goes kind of like pumpkin okay. pie kind cinnamon. of taste. But it's like a savory well, sweet. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's a, it goes in a lot of Caribbean spice. dishes. So, because it was kind of bland the way it was. I'm like, I don't want just a regular pot roast. I have to, like, jack it up. So, um, allspice, and I have uh, garlic and onion in there as well, and thyme. Thyme. Uh, Rosemary was not here today. Because, you know, when I get thyme, I go, Rosemary and thyme. Yeah, exactly. So, thank you. That was beautiful underscoring for our pot roast. And I put it over yellow rice. Uncle Ben's chicken roasted yellow rice, my favorite. Okay, so that is our main dish. There we go. And now, you know, I love a nice salad. <laughs> Always love a nice salad. So I had to get I had to get creative. So I green leaf lettuce here, okay? And I yeah, orange uh, sweet peppers are in there, celery, dill, and just to go a little crazy, I put some raspberries in there. Yeah. Yes, right. just to make it a little sweet to counter the dill and the celery. What do you think of that, Sean? Are you all right about dill since you don't like pickles? Oh, damn. Oh, no, I love dill. Oh, oh all right. I just like got cucumber and pickles. Yeah, and I didn't put cucumbers in there. It's the sweet, vinegary, okay, don't green worry. stuff. No, that looks great. In okay. fact, my question is, like, how much longer do we have to wait until we Well, we about this? 20 minutes. Just keep now, what? in front of me here. I'm a guitar player. You know? I know, I know. When do we get paid? When, when do we when, eat? That, those are the questions, and they're important questions. So I am just going to do a basic 
balsamic vinegar. I don't want to go too crazy or too sweet because I know you don't like that kind of thing. So balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil. All right. That's Sing it. That's now, what are we having for dessert? We're having a delicious... Something's got... Meringue on it. I yeah. felt it behind. <laughs> you felt the meringue? You don't like meringue? <laughs> well, we also have cookie. Billy made cookies. Made biscotti. Look at that. So he gets mad when I say, oh, this is a lime. Key lime Ooh. pie with meringue on it. Could you Ooh. die? Key lime meringue. How, how, key how lime meringue. meringue? I didn't make this, though. Okay. That's the only thing I don't bake. I'm not a baker. But I did buy this at a bakery in Harlem, and it looks delicious, and I couldn't wait to eat it. Oh my God, look who it is, my cousin Gina Savino. You know what that means? Gina uh -oh. Savino. When Gina Savino comes home, we clap. Gina Savino, everybody. Yay. 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 There are certain things that happen around here. <laughs> Gina, we just did the go ahead, keep eating. We, Leo has, Leo Rodriguez has been here. And now we are back to, to that. Kitty is like, what on earth is happening? All right, so. What else do we want to talk about? We want to talk about, I want to say, please, anything you, know, you want. No, when you had said, uh, are we more in the moment or are we looking toward the future and all that kind of stuff? We're in the moment with what we're doing because we're really digging what we're doing, but we kind of want to lay a plan for ourselves mm -hmm. so that we could do more of it because we're enjoying that's exactly it. Right. So when you, you know, create, that's um, a great point. I just said that, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you create a show together, you create it for longevity. Well, we've got some plans. Actually. Okay, I love this. Right. So tell us about that. Our listeners want to know. What Marcus just said is great. The reason we have plans at this point is because we want to keep right. doing this. Right. Yeah. So, I don't think the show had any preconceived notions no. about doing anything going forward. We put it together. What is the name of this show? Clearly Now. Clearly, Clearly now. now. I like that. Yeah, like and, and we're talking about being, right? Right. Just being in the now. Right. So did yeah. you even did you choose well, from the song? You know, I can. Yeah, I love that. Play, one of my but, favorites. Uh, it has some implications to it. Just, but yeah, we we batted around a lot of yeah. titles until we kind of landed on that. But uh, we yeah, started I think out as three, which was not very creative, but we couldn't think of the. Well, the sometimes moment. you need a working title. You just need a yeah, working exactly. title. Like I, I do that all the time. It's like that for now. This is what it is for now, right. you know, until something I, I like clicks. I like ahead, keep eating. Keep, I'm telling you. No, listen, I got merchandise now. Do you? It might be behind there, Bill. I'm, I don't know. great title. You know what, Billy, there's a blue plastic bag in my, in my bed. Go, and you'll see it. Yes, there's, merch, there's merchandise now coming soon. All right. Coming soon to a... But you have to keep thinking like that, absolutely. So with that said, we do have, like, July 1st, we'll be at the cutting room with something called, and I'm going to let... Both of them tell you a little more about this. Uh, it's on a Monday evening. It's called Stormy Mondays. It's, that I as, love. As Sean Stormy. likes to say, it's electric. <laughs> yeah, and it's a full band. So Full blues band. When does this start up again? The f first uh, Monday in July. First Monday in July. First yeah. Monday in July. This, cutting room. You were doing this before. Blues. And yeah. where is the cutting room again? It's on, on 32nd Street, right next to the 6th train there. So what is that? Is that Park Avenue? Park. It's yeah. Park Avenue. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's that far east. Great. Because there's a lot of people on that side of town. Don't want to always come to the West Side. Well, it's venue. also it's so a rock beautiful. club, you right. know, so we're going to do some plug yeah. in rock blues. And it's about the blues. And blues. who else yeah. is there? Uh, you have blues. drummers and all that stuff? Yeah, a, a drum space, keyboards, guitar, mm -hmm. and we'll ha and each time we do it, we will feature a couple or a, a few guests. different get right. different guests. Singer oh, guests. So we're like the house else. band, and then we'll do, you know, arrangements for, wow. for our guests. And, and how long does it last? I mean, how long does it last? Hour and ten minutes. So it's a jam session. Yeah. It's a great I can't wait. I'm going to have to And an invited. Jam That's what invited I love. Jam, right. yeah, invited right. jam, I love that. I Between the three of us, we have so many friends right, and right. guests. And right. yeah. you got. Uh, we'll have to make some we, jam we could for do that. This for I'll a have long to make time. some. You know what? Yeah. I'll have to make some. Stormy <laughs> Monday jam. You think I'm joking? It'll have to be something sweet That's with like jalapeno in it. Rock. With yeah. a jalapeno in there. That's a great product. Maybe Everything blueberry, because the blues, this I'm always thinking, blueberry. <laughs> That's right. Blueberry <laughs> jam with a little jalapeno. I think it sounds Wait, crazy. I'm no, just no, a little spicy. I'm, I'm making it with you. Yeah, yeah. Because Let's you, do it together. you and me in the kitchen oh was one God. of the most fun nights I ever had. It's you and me were my right? eyes in the kitchen What's cooking at in the morning. <laughs> Let's stop for a moment because Bill Goffey is going to be modeling the merchandise that will be coming okay. soon. Okay. Bill, I'm come, come in here. here. So yeah, Bill Goffey oh, is yeah. wearing... Is wearing what is Bill wearing? A go ahead, keep eating oh God, apron. Oh, Leo Rodriguez created these, by the way. With what's the story with Bria? And of course the tote bag because everything's going green now. 
You won't have any plastic bags, so you can go to the grocery store. Apron and a tote bag. Yes. With your but, visage. But, Maria, I your tote it. bag should also, you guys should have to have so one that says Sky and Keep Eating. Because because we're these are models, food, so right? we, we, yeah, okay. I think so. We're going to fill it and with look food. look how pretty you look. You know what? That picture is a couple of years old, but that's the one that was on the thing. And I'm, I'm going to update it. Billy's going to take my headshots. But you know what? There I am. There I am in all my gloves. Nice picture. And uh, so, thank you, Bill Goffey. Bill, no, yeah, and he does have pants on under that apron. Thank God, because the last time there were no pants, and that was quite embarrassing. Are you sure? I am sure tonight. Tonight, I'm sure. Bill is feeling a little bit like Vanna White. Yes, he is. Thank you, Bill, for doing that. So, Leah Rodriguez had those made. Yeah, Kitty, come on back. We're gonna eat soon. Fifteen. What? Tell me. I want to say too that I think that you know, because a lot of people will think that like when they're kind of running one show, that they can't do anything differently. Like, well, we're gonna run that when that's done. Our idea is to give people uh, something acoustic with Clearly Now. That's Beautiful. like our acoustic kind of thing. So it's just Sean and, and you folks? It's uh, well, Clearly Now. That's Clearly, clearly Now. now. But Sean, I'm Marcus, is, and, and I, I once a month. On Monday at the same time, so they have a choice. If they want to see us in a more intimate setting, right. doing something that's a little more... Yeah. They come to see us at Don't Tell Mama. If they want to see more of a jam session and what... We do. Well, I would want to see both. Me too. Right. Well, that's good. You know, that's the thing. If you really, if you enjoy singers, right, or you enjoy musicians, you want to see everything and hear everything that they do. You know, it's like Sting. I could listen to Sting just literally a cappella with like a guitar, and then I love him when he's got the whole band. Mm -hmm. So there are certain singers Mm -hmm. like that that are Mm -hmm. just so good. Well, you know what? I don't even think it's the singers. What happens when I'm on stage with these guys, even intimately, and they're doing stuff, and I'm sitting on a stool, I'm just enveloped in music. So when Sean puts a band together, and we bring even more people in and plug in, it's just, you get to be in the music, and so does the audience. Now, is there a cover charge for that Stormy Monday? Uh, Yeah, we're charging a Scotty, you have to. You have to pay You're going to get all that music. And musicians, yeah. 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 We should really give a shout-out, too, on our first one. Anybody you want. Monday, July 1st, we're having Daryl Kojak with us. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Who's Daryl Kojak? I'm ashamed to say. Keyboard player, music director, character. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful human. With a yeah. really great bluesy, yeah. uh, bluesy. And it starts it at and eight. And it's the same thing where I've done a lot of shows with him, and he's always been on acoustic piano. So mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to hear him rip it up a little bit on a, yep. on a Roads or Orchard. Yeah, sometimes or somebody does that. Like uh, sometimes a bass player that you know is an electric bass player will all of a sudden you see them on an upright. <clears throat> And that's a whole different sound. Yeah, it is. You know, yeah. it's or the other part way of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of guys that go both ways on that. What? what? And the bass, you know, <laughs> oh, electric no. and acoustic. Yeah. Wow. Now you started off playing the guitar. Hmm. And were you in a band in school as a kid? I got my first guitar on my eleventh birthday. Four months later, I had a steady weekly gig at a theater in Bridgeport. What a show <laughs> off! What an overachiever show off! Honestly, right. no, that's amazing. Couldn't help it. When I was in a band with two it. other eleven-year-olds, <laughs> and uh, was that the name? We were called Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah. 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 Like we had we had Demon. two outfits too. We had t- black T-shirts with like an iron-on thing that said our our name. And oh then, yeah! And then uh, and then Mike's mom did this thing with white. Teach mom. White, yeah, yeah, with uh, with, with uh, white shirts, you know, button-down shirts with rhinestones all over. Oh, them. Oh, she'd be dazzled. An S on my pocket. He had a P on his, and Mike wow. had an M on his. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And all three of us are still professional musicians. Really, fact, Mike Koch, he's a, a bad mofo. He's down in uh, Sarasota, Florida. His, uh, his first gig coming back up east was with Molly Hatchett. Uh, wow, he plays in Dickie wow. Betts band. He's wow. hanging with the um, like he's 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 a yo cat in that world, you know. Really Isn't that amazing? You what start off of, as young musicians. What was one of your big hits as Odyssey? Oh, oh we, well, we did kind of half and half. We did write our own music. Did you? We had some originals. We I had want, a theme song and cover. everything. I want to and then the, well, cover. the covers that yeah. we did, we did a, a Boston, More Than a Feeling. Of we course. Did, um, Tonight's the Night by Rod Stewart. We did a few a few Beatles tunes. I think like Oh Blah Dee, Oh Blah Da, and a couple <laughs> others. I'm trying to remember. I, love I can't it. believe I remember this. Yeah, of course. No, that wow. stuff you don't. That stuff you is don't blazed in your What's brain. What's the first song you ever sang, yeah. Maria? The, in front of people. Really the first, my sex, first audition right. song, yeah. and it, of all time, I did Killing Me Softly. I was ten. Wow. I auditioned for a children's theater company at Tufts College, and I didn't I know what sheet music was. I didn't know what anything was. They were just like, "Do you do you have sheet music?" I was like. Uh, what's that? I didn't even know. They were like, "Do you have a?" I just a, have to sing. You have anything? I said, 
they said, okay, just just sing. What do you want to sing? And I, that was like the song that I loved at the time. I loved Roberta Flack. Right. I had that album. And I sang Killing Me Softly. And I got it. You got the I got gig? the gig. I got the gig, and I got a five-year scholarship to that program. Wow! Yeah, I was wow. just this little ten-year-old. When you came out of the program, then you knew what sheet music was. I eventually yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> eventually. So it worked. It worked. Yeah, and but it was like these amazing kids that were in there, you know, I whose, bet. I bet. whose parents knew what to do with them, and my dad was just like. Get that monkey, because I was like a monkey. I was climbing <laughs> cabinets in trees and falling out of trees like, Jesus Christ, get that monkey out of the tree. You know, because I was always breaking an arm or something. And he was like, we've got to find something for you to do that. You don't have to go to the ER every other day. So that's what it was. I love to sing. I was in the folk group at Mass. Have you ever been in the folk group? Did you start out? Billy and the audience, folk group at Mass. They used to play guitar, and we used to sing all these great songs, like, to everything, turn, turn, oh, sure. to all that good stuff. 60s and 70s rock, you know? Yeah. I had oh. friends that were in the folk choir, but I was, oh. in, I was the only white face in the Baptist choir. I love that. Well, that's where you <laughs> get all your soul. You Baptist. <laughs> You're I, Puerto Rican and I Italian. Know, I How did that happen? Sing at the church. My friend Lynn sang there. She said, God, they're going to hear you. I love it. <laughs> I said, I'm coming. I'm coming along. I'm on a road. And who... Who's that boy? Who's that girl? <laughs> who was someone that, that you used to vocalize to... Uh, like, who was someone that you just sang along to when you were like, I know you love, no, as a young guy. Oh, okay. Um, I, 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 I sing to, listen, I told you, I take, when I take a shower, I play your, uh, your albums all the time. I sing at the top of my lungs. And, I, and of course, you know, and your audience, knows, I love, we recorded one of your tunes. Kindness, Kindness really makes me cry. cry. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful song. Oh, I love that. One of my favorite nights that I had here was that musician's party <coughs> where we sang that. Oh, we did, right. We sang it and somebody recorded it. I was going to say, I think there's sheet music of it on your piano. I, oh, I picked it up. Uh, you did? I did. I it's went been there since two, two years. <laughs> well, no, this was new because I had to make copies for my student for tomorrow. And I just saw it on the piano and I thought Maria wrote this. And there it is. Yeah, Karen Cole actually hand wrote that with her. Yeah, I didn't beautiful. hand write that. Karen, let me, let me ask nice. you something. Yeah. Not a lot of people do that. I don't know if yeah. you have to host this Silly. with the most is on the spot, but have you ever sang on your show? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I have, like when we did our live musician show, I, I have sung along. You know, and we like, um, uh, you know, we'll just start singing something. And Lynn, who's, you know, Lynn Portis, oh, who's my Lynn musical Portis. director, she's the best. She'll just start playing something, or Billy Goffey will just start playing something, and we all sing along. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, I think I invited you guys, but you were probably all out of town. It was around Christmas time. You came, didn't you? Last year he came. Oh, right. With Roz. No, I think I had one of those casino gigs that night. That yeah. I did. I had the casino Oh, gig no, because I did it on New Year's Day. That's why. This oh, year right. I did on New Year's and Day. We spoke, right. Yes. Right. But I'll have more musician parties I, and then I we can all really sing. As a matter of fact, I really would love it if you guys did another number. We have 10 minutes left. Less than 10 minutes left. Okay. You want to do one now? Mm. That one? Clearly yeah. now? Kitty just said clearly now. Do you want to do that well, one or the other one? What do you guys feel? Yeah, I think, let's keep it upbeat. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And do you want the intro or yeah, this just yeah, right yeah. now? Oh, let's do the man. Intro. This is only a test. Don't try yeah, it's live. It's live. What are the words? Wait a minute, what are the words? I don't know them. <laughs> What's the title of the song? Today, <laughs> Which one? Baby. Baby. Okay, okay, got it. Got, it. Okay, got your note. Everybody got their notes. Baby. I went completely blank the other day when we were on stage. I was hoping somebody would start saying the words. And, oh, yeah. No, yeah. I do it all the time. It's I hilarious. Do it all the time. Okay, here we go. Ready? Baby, you're mine. You are blown.
Yes, okay, that's what I also I want. Let's just segue into that. Okay. So we did talk about the storm in Mondays. That's coming up in July, and I'll remind everybody. If you guys post on my wall, I'll post it on the What's the Story with Maria wall. Let and remind everybody. But you are doing a show. When and where can they find you? This Saturday, February twenty third, at seven p.m. at Don't Tell Mamas on West Forty Sixth Street. Yes, in the brick room. Okay, and they want to make reservations for sure because these guys sell out all the time. It's a small room, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is a small room. it's a nice room though. It it's is. my favorite. Nice yeah. yeah, it's so warm. The sound is good. It's they it's, really upped the ante over there. Did they? Yeah, yes. that's good yeah. to know. You know, so we got we got a couple of really wonderful reviews, and the one that I, I like so much is that he compared the room. And that we're unplugged and kind of doing it together like that. To walking into an old New York City club in the 60s oh. and listening to music. Right. Catching some music. That so is that was good. really flattering. And one of the other good things, and that he wrote this as well, is that come to see the show again and again because we'll be changing Oh, we're just going to change so, some songs. So the, songs the Clearly Now changing. show will yes. be evolving. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a residency at Don't Tell Mama once, once a, month. a month. Oh, that's oh, really so cool. So I suggest that people come see us this month and then decide if they like <laughs> us and bring friends. <laughs> that's yeah, exactly. that's yeah, a great idea. they wouldn't want to get caught. So is it like uh, the first uh, Saturday or the last Saturday? You do, you do no, you know, just, no, not in particular. We'll let you know the dates. As we're randoming. Wow. Okay, I do... Uh, I, I, I can't say enough about these guys, and I do want you to make reservations because it's important. It's a small room. You will not regret it. Um, if you hate them, call me, and I will give you your damn cover charge back. Ah, That's it. That's a friend. That's Maria. it. No, I'm serious. You're, it's just you're going to walk out of there feeling amazing. 
amazing, amazing, amazing. And I, and I, I, I these are my friends. I love them, and they're ama- And it's important to surround yourself. If you are an artist, this is what the show is about. The mission of the show is to give creative people wind in their sails because we are all creative people. And thank God for people like Kitty and those people out there like you that buy tickets to show so that we can keep doing what we're doing. You know, because, you know, there's a lot of talent in this in this town. And, um, you know, when you're talking about the 60s club thing, mm-hmm. I am enamored with that time in history, in musical history. Me too. Right? Yeah. The village in the 60s and what came out of that. And, and then also in the San Francisco scenes and what came out of that. But in Boston, Boston's always had a huge music scene. And to be privy to that, you can, you know, you can go back in time without going back in time and just listen to these guys and remember what that feels like. And if you're a young person that uh, didn't get a chance to hear all that great stuff back then, now's your chance to get a, to know what it, it felt like, you know. And I, um, nice. I love these guys, you know. And Marcus, I mean, I seriously, people are like, oh, who's your favorite uh, male vocal? I'm like, Marcus Simeone, Michael McDonald, you know, like that. Oh, I mean, me too, no, that's really, nice that's, too. I mean, that, that is the voice that I want to listen to when I want to calm down, when I'm getting ready for something, I put, pop on Marcus oh, you. and you guys together. That's just like, forget about it. That's like extra bells and whistles. What do we got, Jimmy? How much time? A minute. A minute. Okay. Sean, just keep playing, buddy. And we want to tell you, we love you. We appreciate you. Come back. Tuesdays at 9 p.m. And what's the story with Maria? And also, I'm going to put in a plug for myself. Lynn Portis and I will be playing in New Leaf Cafe up at the Cloisters on March 3rd for their brunch. Three to five, I'm going to let you know about that. But this Saturday, go and check out these guys at Don't Tell Mama. Let's just sing it, sing it out, guys. Yeah.